That's some bleak outlook on life, dude. I mean, here's the thing, Curtis. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. get. <laughs> Welcome back to Beverage Buddies here on the Stack Network. My name is Dave Moore. I'm also known as the Sleepy Dave Moore. This is also joining me is Curtis Lane from the Stack Network and Back Lane Films. Hi, Curtis. How's it going, Dave? Oh, I'm asleep. I'm asleep. You're asleep on your feet? Mm hmm. That's okay. I'll be a little bit more energetic for you. I, I could use that. Uh, welcome to the first coffee video here on the Stack Network. Uh, for what is maybe the most exciting coffee I've had in a decade. Really? The most exciting coffee you've had in a decade? I mean, think about this. There, there's there's coffee, right? Yeah, there's, there's, coffee. there's coffee. There's there's Dunkin'. Dunkin' coffee is the best coffee in the world. Fight me, uh, internet. Oh, no, I'm not gonna. I know you're not gonna, but the internet. Pound might. for pound, like, drip coffee. Uh -huh. It's some of the most, like, balanced and smooth coffee you can find in a retail setting. Coming from the person who previously worked at starbucks let's just establish <laughs> he likes duncan that's not an insult to starbucks it's just no. duncan is great anyway uh yeah and, and i love i love duncan's flavors i love their drinks i love their variety mm -hmm. i love the changes they make but i love their food i have not had any dun although although i did have some snack so some snack and bacon the other day at duncan snack and bacon <laughs> Yeah, I mean, who, what other place would invent that other than Dunkin' Donuts? It, it's, like, it's, you know what people want? Snack and bacon. It, you know what it is? It's like syrup-ish covered. I, I don't know what else to call it. And like pepper. So it's kind of spicy and it's kind of soft. It's like spicy, soft, gooey bacon in like... I mean, that sounds good. In little chunks. Oh my God, it's so good. It's It, <laughs> it shouldn't be that as good as it is. Um, Fair enough. Can, can I tell a can I tell a horrible story before we do this amazing? No, go coke, for it, dude. Coke, I know, I know. This is like you're ever, asking me for permission on your show. It's like uh, every, I guess. Where did I put it? Um, everybody wants us to try this coke, so so I promise we'll try this coke. But I went through the Dunkin' line yesterday. Okay, um, you know the pay it forward thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, you pay for the person behind you's drink. Yeah. So we're sitting in line. And we get up to there, and. And the person in front of us was taking an unusual amount of time. Mm -hmm. And we we're like, oh, no. And so we get up there. And they're like, the person in front of you paid for yours. Oh, that's nice. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Um, uh, I mean, ours was like eight or nine dollars because we got okay. snack and bacon, hash browns and coffee. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's super nice. And I go, so what's the order behind us? Because that's what you're supposed to do. And they're like, yeah, twenty three dollars. And I'm like. No. I, didn't, I didn't really want to spend twenty three dollars today. I kind of wanted to spend like no, that, ten that's reasonable. 10, I think ten maximum. So I was like, "Here's the pay it forward has to end at some point." In my I, opinion, I, I don't know when it started. I don't know if I was like the first person. Like it was like the person in front of you paid for you, and I was like, "Here's ten dollars towards the person behind her's order," because that's kind of what I wanted to spend today by. <laughs> Is I mean, that that's wrong? fine. It's... You still did what you could. It's not expected to have to pay it all. We're all in different economic portions of our life, you know? I know. I feel kind of it... guilty, but I also really just didn't want to spend like you... $23 on coffee and breakfast. Well, so you took $10 off the next person's drink. They were probably pretty happy about that. And, and, that's half off still. And, and when if I... they're going to be upset like, oh, how dare they not pay for my food? It's like, get over yourself. Like, and, you were going to spend that much anyway. And the other part, I kind of looked at it and said, okay, so if they get up to that line and they do the exact same thing I did, where they're like, we were going to spend $21, right? Or yeah. $23, somewhere in that range, right? Like, mm -hmm. are they, then they'll probably pay for the person behind them. And then yeah, the, chain, and the chain kind of recycles. Like, if, if somebody's paying a bunch into the system and paying what they expected to pay but the other person made a chunk towards it that that chunk will then increase and then pay for the, I, I don't know i think i find the whole no, thing I kind of you. kind of frustrating and i'm like it's really sweet and like a nice thing that people started doing but i don't know like i don't know at starbucks that happened a lot like more than you would expect mm -hmm. um like where we would get like 20 cars that would just keep it going keep it going keep it going but though usually the one person who would end it 
wouldn't it's not like it's a bad thing or anything it's just the person who can't afford the next person in line's drink that's that's I and mean, that's, that's completely fair that's the part of it though it's like it's like this really nice thing we did but i feel like by the time it gets to the last person who doesn't do it they feel, feel kind of guilty and then yeah. I, it's kind of like and then the did, world keeps turning didn't that kind of defeat the purpose of the whole thing if the last person who got it for free feels kind of guilty maybe a little but at the same time like it's just good natured people trying to do good and that's what they got it's like the one time they get to be good throughout the day and you know truthfully i've been the end person on those ones before and yeah. before i worked at starbucks back when i was really really broke yeah um Col- but I college was really, mortgages yeah. pandemics I've, all these things that cause different economic status uh-huh. right now right we're all kind of screwed up <laughs> yeah there's no shade on this like but like I was the last one and I just ordered a drip coffee. Like I just wanted a medium coffee from Starbucks and they're like, Hey, somebody pay for your drink. Would you like to pay for the one behind you? I'm like, what's the price? And they're like, Oh, $18. I'm like, I, my coffee was $2. Yeah. Like that's, that's the like, problem. I, can't, I, I put in my brain $2 today because that's what I needed. Not $18. Right. $18 wasn't in my budget. And I know you're, I'm going through Starbucks and I'm complaining about spending a lot of money on coffee, but it's like, if you're if you're not okay with spending X amount of money, like I have a cut off at about like twenty dollars now. When I when but, I when I find yeah. myself in the you know the Starbucks drive through, right? Like mm-hmm. I already am treating myself. The amount that I agreed to spend was what I agreed to go through the line. If it increases <laughs> above that, I'm already spending more than I should be by going yeah. through the line in the first place. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm ready to try this Coke anyway. All right. You want to crack as much it open? As I, I love talking about, you know. Oh God, it got condensated, and now I can't get my fingernail under it. Mine's really cold, Ooh. like real cold. Like either my refrigerator's what broken or it just was in the right spot. Okay, so I don't know what I was expecting getting into this, oh, but I, I realized it's not just coffee. No, it's but this Coke. Is Coke with <laughs> coffee. coffee. So uh, I wasn't. A, I I don't know what I was expecting when I first grabbed this because I just looked at the word coffee. So it just says with coffee it's not i'm like hmm it's not it's not a really great accurate description um no it's perfect if i smell this right now it smells like someone took a cup of coffee and had a 20 ounce coke and dumped them into the same like cup and i'm like and and then and then proceeded to fill that into these cans that are like 12 ounces um oh yeah if anybody's wondering why i'm turning white it's because the sun is slowly coming out um, by the way, we're doing the dark roast here, so it, yes. it does. It definitely probably has the strongest coffee smell. Jeff, okay. Jeff, and I will be trying the other two flavors soon. Um, what and about then, me, I got two. And we'll find Curtis, what? Curtis to do vanilla because because Jeff also has sugar free vanilla, so, so he can I. he can compare the difference between because oh. you have the sugar free, all yeah. of them, right? So I have the regular. Mine smells really sweet, although it does smell really way more like coffee than i expected it to yeah it smells a lot like coffee like it literally just smells like if you put duncan dark roast and some uh coke in the same can and i'm just like mm, are you ready to taste it dude I, uh, last thing i want to say before i taste this i'm so i'm so excited um i'm confused i drink a lot of coffee in the morning i also drink a lot of coke in the morning i alternate those two things I've been on. I've been kind of on a coke kick, like kick lately, to combine the two things. I'm really excited. <laughs> this is good. If it's not good, I'm gonna be sad though. Isn't this an international thing as well? Like yeah. this came out in different other, countries before it came out in the U.S. Other countries have had it for a long time. It seems like, and they've they've agreed that collectively it's pretty popular. I'm ready to try this. Let's go. Let's do it. Right, ready. Okay, not as bad as I was expecting. It Not, smells it smells a lot worse than it tastes. Yeah, because it smells like old coffee. <laughs> but it tastes – it has nice tones. Like if you're expecting coffee, it's going to have a little bit. Yeah. But it's truly the sweetness and I'm going to be completely honest. It's probably the high fructose corn syrup that kind of cuts a lot of that harshness. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's good. Hmm. I'm going to let Amy drink the rest of this one. It's personally, it's not for me. I don't know if it's my favorite thing. Although, to be fair, dark roast is not the flavor I would pick. Dark roast is what I would pick, but th- I'm gonna be honest. Like, it's not. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting much worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that, like, you know, that weird off coffee flavor you get when you buy something with coffee, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, this is gonna be like that kind of oldish t- tasting coffee. But this, this tastes fresh. Yeah. 
it tastes like there's coffee in my Coke. It smells like old coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, it does. They didn't get rid of the smell. They got rid of the taste, which is cool. I like how during this video you can slowly see my hair start to dry and start to curl right here. <laughs> Because I didn't get 100% done before this. Everybody, I just wanted to establish that before we started recording this episode, Curtis sends me a text. This is this is a dude sending me a text that says, hold on, I'm finishing my hair. Be there in five. So much more hair than you. I, I know. I, I, I realize that, but I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't used the words, let me work on my hair uh, since I was like, oh God, 16. Probably in high school. 16, yeah, yeah high school. Well, I, I, I had hair I longer than hair so it can touch my nose. So, so I had like hair longer than that, but uh, not much. Um, Got a floof, but no, it um it requires some attention, and when it's wet, it stays wet for a very long time because I have what is called a mop of hair. I kind of like this. I decided I kind of like it, although yeah, I, I kind of like I, it too. It makes me want to go back for more every time. I'm gonna drink the other flavors more. If I were to pick a caffeinated beverage, like a specific caffeinated beverage, because this is definitely a little bit more caffeine than even like a cup of coffee, right? Um, I, maybe just just a tad. Uh, if I was trying to get energized, I hate Red Bull. I, I hate I hate Monster, which also is made by Coke. Um. So, fun fact, actually, real quick. So, this has 69 uh, milligrams of caffeine per oh, serving. It. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's an average can of Coke. Oh. Like, I just need you to know that, like, it's roughly seven, 70 milligrams. A cup of coffee is roughly 100 to 120. I was going to say. on I, what kind of roast you get. I was going to say, I would assume that this was in, in par, then, with a cup of coffee. But that is. No. No, this is less. This is on par with a regular Coke. <laughs> then why do I drink this? Why don't I just drink regular Coke? I don't know. But also, it does have... This is a random thing, just because I'm slightly reading the ingredients mm-hmm. as we go along. Um, this is one of those cough, or one of those things that has high fructose corn syrup as a second ingredient, and sucralose as a later ingredient, as an artificial f- sweetener. Mm-hmm. So it has sugar and fake sugar in it to make it sweeter, because... You know, that's good. Because uh, 18 grams of high fructose corn syrup wasn't enough. In that case... Not that I dislike this, because I kind of do like it. I don't get the point. I, I don't actually get the point, then. Uh, I, like, I The dark roast is fine, but it's it's just a coffee-flavored Coke, kind of. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to like, gonna like the, the other... In the morning. I'll probably drink the other flavors and like them a lot more, though. Because vanilla, yeah, would, vanilla and caramel are more my kind of coffee. Ugh. And if this I is... like those a lot, I would pick this over Coke in the morning, just because I kind of like the mix of both. But... I guess I get this because I do know people who are like they don't drink coffee in the morning. They drink a can of Coke. They actually like that's their go to. They're not like, oh, I'm going to stop at Starbucks. It's like, no, I'm going to stop at Dunkin Donuts and grab a 20 ounce Coke. That's their morning. I have never stopped at Dunkin for a can of Coke, but I do (laughs) keep Coke in my fridge and will open a can of Coke in the morning. It's the first beverage of the day, which is bad. But, you know, it's what your life is. Lifestyle. Come on, everybody. Okay, Everybody's got something different. (laughs) It's so weird. It's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. You can choose to wake up and chug a, tw- a two liter Mountain Dew. I've seen it. I know who you are. Yeah. You go to the mall a lot. <laughs> there's worse. There's worse habits in the world. Anyway, yeah. guys, I like it. I don't love it. I'm going to like the other flavors better. I can tell you that right now that I, I just don't get this. the point. We will all be here later on the channel to try the up the other flavors. Me, Jeff. That's Curtis. I'm Dave. Uh, I'm still kind of waking up. The caffeine is <laughs> it's, it's starting to circulate through my body. Always don't feel as if you need to pay it forward. This is the Snack Network, though. So you need to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below of things you guys want us to try. We try lots of craft beers here on the channel. It seems to be our, our real go-to lately. But that doesn't mean we don't try you know different coffee flavors and the flavors of Mountain Dew and candy and etc. That's it. I thought you were going to say Excedrin, like the oh, medication. No. Oh, like, yeah. Dude, are you okay? No, no, I'm waking Do up. Do you Curtis. need help, Dave? No. Are you okay? I don't even actually know what that does. <laughs> Bye, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Beverage bodies, sweet dry dreams. <laughs>